we're on a car journey today going to the central coast and we're going to pick up a new puppy and we're bringing you guys along with us we're currently on the highway driving really fast we're actually running a little bit late because there was heaps of traffic um back in sydney but i'm so excited we're actually getting a puppy boy yes a boy this time because i was thinking since yaya's a girl it'll be good to get a boy and a girl together and also the breed we're getting is a case hunt we did a lot of research and um i kind of thought case hunt is the best breed for our family right now so we're gonna go there and pick him up so excited i'm really sorry about the dirty window but there's a pair of huskies right in front of us in that truck not sure if you guys can see but they're super cute they're actually smaller than regular huskies so me and james was thinking are they like miniature huskies or pomskies but they're so cute there's one that always bobs his head up the other one i think is sleeping So we're here picking up the puppy and this is our little teddy. Isn't he cute? Hi teddy. Oh, what's wrong darling? What's wrong? I think he wants to go to his siblings. I think that's his mummy. Not sure who's, who's that, but they're fully grown. Oh, look at little Lila there. It's little there. That's the mummy. Sorry. Teddy, we're outside with the litter. Oh, are they adorable? Come here so you can get a better look. Hello. Oh, and I have the big boy here. I have the big boy right here. Hey, Bolty. Hi. Hi, Bolt. And this is Granddad. This is Bolt. He's the grandfather of yeah. your puppy. The and granddad. And that's Granddad, and that's Great Granddad. <laughs> He's 11 yeah. and he's 5. Yes. Where's Teddy? Where's that Teddy? He was having my Teddy. Oh. Teddy's having a little wee. Oh, aren't you a good okay, boy? Now yep. Teddy playing okay, with his brother. Oh. Hello. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Here you go. Hello, Bolt. Hello, Bolt. Hello, Bolt. <laughs> Very, very funny. Yeah, that's why he wins a lot of the dog shows. They just love him to bits. He's just got such We're a We're heading energy. back home now, and Oh, it's little Teddy. We named him Teddy. We were contemplating two names. Um, I had Nibbler, and James came up with Teddy. And James was saying he looks more like a teddy bear, which he does. So we decided to name him Teddy and also we have a little blankie here from our wonderful breeder. She's Katrina. She works with Perina. She's really, really good. Here's little Teddy. We're driving home now. Hopefully he's good to drive back. So excited to show him to Yang Yang. Are you excited to meet your big sister? Yes, you are. Oh. I think he's a bit shy. He doesn't know what's happening. Oh. Oh. I hope he's not sad. We're on our way back now. And little Teddy is falling asleep in my arms. He's so cute. Oh. This is the first full day that Teddy has been with us and that's our bedroom which is incredibly um messy and with Teddy's piddle pad and everything dragged everywhere. He actually dragged this one out because he had his pee on it. I think he's very high, like hygienic around his living area. He doesn't want to pee in the bathroom which I am right now. He likes to sleep here. That's what he's doing since he's a puppy at um eight weeks just uh he naps a lot so right now he's napping again and there's Yaya. Uh, the first day I would say Yayan's still a bit scared of him like whenever Teddy goes near her she'll growl at him and she'll kind of snap sometimes when he gets too close but right now since he's sleeping she's okay with the distance right now like because he's not kind of like hyperactive and kind of want to put his paws on her so he's she's okay with that so that's our first day I'm kind of um it might be me like overreacting but I'm kind of worried because of Yayan being like kind of over over protective or over um kind of aggressive when little Teddy comes along because he's still very gentle although he's very playful he wakes up 
um, probably two hours every two hours at night so last night it was very hard but we expected that because it was the exact same thing with Yang Yang she kind of woke up every few hours and we basically need to hug her to sleep and Teddy was better in that sense like he'll kind of howl and bark a bit and then we'll kind of calm him down and he'll fall asleep himself later on so that's good I, I want to see what happens tonight um, so last night they didn't sleep together. His little Yaya. They didn't sleep together last night. Yaya slept on our bed and Teddy slept on Yaya's big um, cushion thing from Audi. So yeah, I'm not sure how it goes if they sleep together because first of all, um, I'm getting up now because I'm getting sore. First of all, if Teddy slept on that big, big cushion thing, he's really hot. He gets extremely hot at night and he pants a lot. So what we're thinking to do is actually buy him a, like, um, these trampoline beds for dogs. Uh, yeah, so once we get that, I want to try out if they sleep together. One of the good things is Teddy, I'm actually on the balcony right now, Teddy actually poos on the balcony, which is really, really great because um, it's like, we don't need to train him. He only did one mistake when he initially came to our home and that's the first time he pooed. He pooed inside but later on, like he probably pooed three times already on the balcony. So that's his little poo. And we've been putting his pee on the balcony too because he hasn't found a correct place to pee yet. Although he doesn't like to pee in the bathroom where he likes to sleep. But everywhere else he tends to pee which is a problem that we need to work on. But the pooing I'm really really happy about. Um, and yeah, uh, Yaya is kind of really fascinated about um, Teddy's food because it's kind of like new food for both of them. She never seen the food before so she kind of wants to eat the food. But since it's, Yaya, uh, since it's Teddy's puppy food, she can't eat it. And so every single time he eats, she kind of like watches over and really, really want to take a bite. And she's kind of not eating her own adult food which um i'm trying to work on that to get her like eating her adult food when teddy is eating her his puppy food so yeah that's our update right now day one and if you guys have any questions please comment down below and um if you guys have any recommendations on how you can get your puppy to kind of like um, get familiarized with your dog or how your dog right now adult dog gets familiarized with the puppy definitely leave your recommendations down below because me and James well I think me I'm overacting I'm kind of like stressing out over the problem of um, yeah, yeah, being a bit more aggressive so please do comment down below thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoy and until next time bye